let's just see if this scale is going to pull us in or not. we got about a mile and a half or so to find out. But, uh, yes, we are done in Vancouver. Went pretty well. Uh, this is I-5. For those that might not know, this, this connects both Vancouver and Seattle. Vancouver, Washington and Seattle, Washington. I usually get the bypass, but I've also been pulled into the barn here, so we'll just see how this works out. More fog. Ugh. But it looks like we should have good weather today. I didn't see anything in the forecast, so we will see how that turns out. It is open as usual. There's the plates. Boom. Boom. What do we got? Truck must exit. Truck must exit to way station. They're bringing us in today. Well, they are doing inspections because they've got one sitting in the barn. Bay number one there. That's the open door. Well, let's see what we got, guys. Oh, well, they're walking out to that fuel tanker, so... 
piano's loaded, let's uh, pull off to the side, go close our doors. Let's get out of Seattle. Nothing really changes. Not really, anyway. Well, let's close up shop and get out of here. I'll get back with you. I think there's a little something going on with that little white van there where those guys are at. I'm just saying. I don't know. We'll let this car pass us first and then we'll get out of here. This was known as a chop shop corner, so just saying. Looks like they got some stuff going on.
Good evening everybody. We're doing gizzards. Chicken gizzards and we're gonna do a steak. Got it up there. It's not deep. It, I don't have the defroster going. I'm just putting it up there to let it air. Let it get to room temperature. It helps the steaks out a little bit before you toss them on the grill. But we're done everybody. Um, I may toss in my blood pressure readings because uh, I know some of you guys have wondered with the amount of eggs that I eat, you know, my cholesterol has got to be off the charts. I would, I would encourage you, if you already haven't, look up Dr. Ken Berry, B-E-R-R-Y, and... He's a board certified doctor, like 22, 23 years um, or more. The truth behind cholesterol, our bodies produce 80% of our own cholesterol. So, um, kind of like our government and politicians, I don't believe anything I hear and half of what I see. So, like a free thinker, you know, if you think on your own, you're in trouble. Because then they can't dictate to you what they want you to do. Well, it's the same way with food. Um, do your own search, do your own Google searches. I'm doing mine. This is why I'm doing the carnivore. Um, that's why I'm taking my blood pressure every day. Took it this morning. The first first reading was this morning. This one was this afternoon after what? Let's see, about a 15, almost 16 hour day. So, and 10 cups of coffee. Just saying, plus my five eggs. Yeah. So, I'm just trying to figure out as if, if our body, if cholesterol is a foundational block that builds our bodies, you know, our DNA and all our stuff inside us, how is that all of a sudden bad? And then people would say, you oh, know, clogging of the arteries. Well, if you run grease down your kitchen sink, you usually tend to run the heat up. Well, you know, our bodies, as we're alive, we should be, what, 98 something? Which means our pipes are hot with the with 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 our blood rolling through it. So typically you run hot water in a down a garbage you know down your sink before you put grease down it so that it doesn't stick to anything, right? Well, my body temperature is already there. Doesn't that isn't that the same premise? Just saying. Um, so just that but we're sitting here in Spokane back at the Petro and we'll see how this thing works you know depending on how it's gonna get across uh, Montana tomorrow uh, if everything goes right we'll be sitting at least Mile City I don't think I'll make Glen Dive so excuse me but we're gonna roll it up everybody on that God bless love you guys Look up Dr. Ken Berry. Do your own research. For me, I'll stick with my carnivore. I feel much better. Life is good. God is good. Thank you, Jesus. Love you. God bless. Lord willing, I'll see you.